But uh, I love mind reading. That's my favorite part of my job. In fact, uh, my, my stand-up show now, since uh, people can't really come up and touch props anymore, is almost all mind reading. And I'll teach you guys a little bit how to read minds in a poker game. So we'll get these all dealt out. We're not really going to play poker because uh, there are some members of the uh, federal law enforcement here watching the show. How you doing, Jay? <laughs> and uh, <coughs> But uh, tell you what we'll do. We'll get some people in the game. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris and Coley. Would you guys help us with this trick? Yeah. I'm going to hold some cards up here to the camera. Can you see them right there, Chris? Yeah. Would you remember one? Just one? Just one. Yeah, I got it. Very good. I'm getting a psychic impression from you now. Very good. And remember that card because uh, it makes the end of the trick a lot better. Very good. Liz, who's the, uh, who's the gentleman with you there tonight? Ryan, Ryan, my husband. Ryan, how are you, sir? Good, good. Good. I'm going to hold some cards up for you. Would you remember one of those cards? Yeah. Just one, right? You got it? Uh-huh. Got it. Don't forget, otherwise this really takes away from the ending. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Shay, it seems like you've got someone with you. Who's that gentleman? That's my husband, Christian. How you doing? That's Christian? Yep. Very good. Would you take a look at him? Would you remember one of those cards, Christian? Yeah. Very good. I'm getting a psychic impression from you as well. You like pizza, but you wouldn't want it every night. <laughs> I know. It's amazing how I know these things. It's a talent that we're all born with. Very good, very good. Beth Bankert, would you help us, dear? Gaze into the cards. Remember one. You betcha. Have you got it? I do. Don't forget. I will not. This is a lot harder on the video thing because I can't get a reflection in your glasses. <laughs> Karen Price, would you help us, dear? Would you remember one of those cards? Uh, yes. You got one? Yep. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, I had a joke, but but it, it, it kind of faded on me. Very good. <laughs> uh, very, I'm going to cut through the cards a little bit, give them a little bit of a mix, and then I'll deal the poker hands out again. My favorite song from Kenny Rogers, I think everybody's favorite song from Kenny Rogers is The Gambler. That's where he says, you got to know when to hold them, you got to know when to fold them. Yeah. Very good. This is the part where all of you that are on mute go, you know, you sing the three or four verses. But <laughs> The second verse is my favorite. And that's where he says, son, I made a living out of reading people's faces and knowing what their cards were by the way they held their eyes. Which, until I became a magician, sounded like the weirdest thing in the world. But it's really true. Like, if I hold the cards up here, um, Chris, maybe by chance one of those is your card? I don't see it. No? Is it one of those, Ryan? Yeah. It is? That's what I thought so. Uh, Christian, it's not one of those, is it? Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. That saves time. Uh, it's not one of those, is it, Beth? It is. Really? This is great. Right. Karen, is it one of those? No. Mm -hmm. That would have been cool, though, wouldn't it? It would have. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Ryan, I'm going to try and get your card first, okay? I want you to show me that stone face. I can see that you're, uh, a, you're a big dude. Oh, there, oh not, not the angry face, the stone face. There you go. That, that was just scary there for a minute. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the cards one at a time, Ryan. And, and like I said, just show me that poker face. No motion at all. But for those of you that are on gallery view, if you look, you'll see the eyebrows twitch just a little bit. So, Ryan, total stone face. Could be your card. 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 Wow. Are you an attorney? <laughs> no. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> what was the card that you were thinking of? Seven of Hearts. Oh, goody. <laughs> wow. One. Thank you, thank you. Christian, you want to give it a shot? Sure thing. Good, I'm going to show you the cards one at a time. Each time I want you to say no. Even if it is your card, still say no, okay? So it's okay to lie. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can all kind of listen for the difference in the voice, right? Could be yours. No. Could be yours. No. Could be yours. No. Could be yours. No. Wow. Are you an attorney? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. You're thinking about <laughs> it. You got talent. You got talent and potential. What was the card you were thinking of? The six of diamonds. That's this one, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. That's two. That's two. We're doing good. Let's go over here. We're going to try and see if we can find Chris and Chris's yep. card again. 
Maybe it's one of those, Chris. Uh, yeah. Very good. It's not one of those, is it, Karen? Yes. It is one of those? Yes. Perfect, perfect. Hey, let's try the same thing again. Chris, I'll go through the cards. Uh, just say no to all of them. Are you ready? Are you sure? Very good. Say no. <laughs> no. Say no. No. Say no. No. Say no. No. Say no. <laughs> Come on, man. No. <laughs> My friend Jay, who's the uh, ATF agent, is sitting over here going, I got him. I got him. <laughs> Very good. Chris, I'm not saying I'm right, but I think I got it. What was the card you were thinking of? Uh, that's, a, that's a seven of clubs. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. it is. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Karen, are you ready? We'll give you a chance as well. I'm ready. I'm going to do something a little different from you, with you. Um, your card is still one of those, right? Yes. Very good. Let me tilt it a little bit so you can see them all. And I'm going to deal them out across the table. And over here inside of my briefcase, rummaging in the briefcase, I have my Mystic Pendulum. Ooh. Very good. Have you ever used a pendulum before, Karen? No. These are fun. You can use them for things like dowsing. So if you want to try to find water or oil, you can carry this around, and it'll start to swing when it comes near water or oil. Or Some people uh, say that you can use one of these to determine um, you know, if, if you're going to have a boy or a girl. Um, some people say that they can pick stocks with them. None of those people are wealthy. <laughs> uh, but if I hold it over the cards, we'll see if it starts to move. I'll try this one next. Nothing. We'll try this one next. Oh, we got something there. This one? I got nothing. So I'm guessing it was not the three of clubs. No. no but Shay was like, wow, that's so cool. Very good. And uh, not the nine of clubs. No. And not the five of spades. No. Well, otherwise, we're in trouble. What was the card you were thinking of? Two of clubs. Oh, that was good. That was good. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Karen and my mystic dowsing key on a string. Ooh. Very good. We'll get together and we'll do more with the dowsing key on a string later. Uh, I just realized that I totally forgot to do a trick for Beth. Yes. Um, did you pick a card out of there, Beth? I did. You remember what it was? I do. I'm thinking it was a black one. Yes. I'm thinking it was a spade. Yes. Uh... <laughs> You know, I'll just take potluck. I'm not saying I'm right. What was the card you were thinking of, Beth? This seven of spades. That's this one, right? That's the one. I hate to think I'm going to get it wrong. You know what I mean? I'd hate to think I was going to get it wrong. 